Kia ora. In this short video, we're going to look at how to add a disk ID to a release in Music Brains. Now, disk ID is a, it's a hash or a, a long string of numbers that gets automatically generated based on data on your CD. And it's usually used to identify the CD uh, by rippers, by other programs. Uh, it's quite useful, and we also use it to set track times to the millisecond in Music Brains. Now I've added this CD that we can see here, Best Pants by The Art of Cheese, uh, and we can see it's got no disk IDs. I've already added a bunch of other information, but now just to be as complete as possible, I'm going to click on Disk IDs up here. We can see again, no disk IDs, and the how-to. So uh, if this isn't, if you get confused as you're going, like that. But now to uh, submit a disk ID, we're going to use Music Brains Picard here. This is the Music Brains official tagger. We're going to hit uh, Look Up CD. Um, so here we can pick from a CD drive. So I've got two. So I'm going to click on J. Look up uh, what CD is in. So again, this is uh, used to automatically look up CD results and programs like Picard, but we haven't found it. So, or well, Picard hasn't found disk ID. So you can click here or down here. We can click Submit Disk ID. Now it's going to open up this window. Now there's a few different things we can do. We can search uh, search by the artist. Uh, we can type in uh, the art of cheese. We could search uh, best pants. Um, and yeah, let, let's do that actually. We're going to run the search. Here we go. And Immediately it turns up. I'm going to go back and just show you the other method. This is if this is if this search is giving you trouble. Uh, I'm going to go back into my other tab, and this string of numbers at the top here, uh, in the URL, that's the MBID, uh, Music Brains ID. I'm actually just going to copy that whole thing, and paste it in here. We search by that. It's always going to work. So that's that's how to. Uh, specifically tell it this is the exact release we want. Um, and only one result here, sometimes it's multiple uh, multiple results, in which case you really want to check that it's the one that you've got, same country, date, catalog, number, uh, check the track list, and so on. Um, but I know that this is mine, so I just added it, uh, and go attach CD TOC. Here we go and see this is interesting already we can see uh the actual length of the track on tracks on disc are different to what it said in the booklet uh, and i'm going to put here i'm just going to write in hand um actually uh cd uh hand uh because you might uh be getting your disc id from some this there's, there's other ways to add the disc id uh, but usually you're just going to put in hand okay. enter edits Done. There we go. We entered the disk ID. Now uh, we're going to do one little step, which is we're going to click on set track durations over here. And what that's just going to do is it's going to overwrite the track lengths with uh, with what's on the CD itself, because technically correct is the best kind of correct, as we all know. And again, the edit note. I'm just going to write in hand. Um, if anyone's got more questions, they get in touch with me but that's really uh to know um and now it says it's added it at the top you can see your edit has been applied click back on the release here here we go we've got the new new track link um, and the other thing that's going to happen is if we click look up cd oh, i didn't see that's the I didn't pick my drive. If you've only got one CD drive, sure. Uh, just click that. I need to select here. Right. J. And now we've found it. Um, so because we submitted this ID, we can load this into the card uh, and all your other software. Uh, and now we've added the disk ID.